In recent news, folks, recent news that is perhaps shocking to nobody, California politicians have come up with yet another way to steal money from homeowners, to steal money from private citizens living in the state, right? They are taking your rights and turning them into currency to buy votes. We have another new tax that ta California has proposed that they're going to enact on homeowners and landlords. Just one more way for them to outlaw private property ownership. Let's unpack it right now. Welcome to the show, folks. My name is James Wise, and I am here to talk to you all about real estate. I like to talk about the hottest topics in real estate, answer your questions, help y'all learn a thing or two. And you can't talk about real estate without talking about the tragedy, the tragic, tragic case that is the Communist Republic of California. It seems like on a weekly basis now, I have to do a video covering the latest way that California is trying to strip its property owners uh, of their rights, right, as Americans, right? This, this latest thing is, is just insane when you look at the totality of things they're doing uh, to people who own real estate out there, right? A San Francisco sur supervisor is looking to tax property owners who let their house units sit vacant, right? So people in California, because the California government is screwing them so much, right? Outlawing evictions, not allowing them to have any uh, any type of rights as landlords. Uh, sometimes they're opting to just let them sit empty. So now California is trying to screw you on that as well, right? This guy right here, Dean Preston. He just had a press conference a couple days ago announcing this, okay? Supervisor Dean Preston announced the initiative at a press conference on 2-8-2022. As I talked to you guys, that was Tuesday and Thursday, right? It would need about 9,000 signatures to qualify for the ballot, okay? When looking at his speech further, basically he said, I am a huge wang, folks. I am the captain of the socialistic dongs. This fucking guy. The goal is to incentivize property investors who leave homes vacant until the market is in their favor to list or to rent their property. Leave them till the market's in their favor, folks. How about till you don't steal their rights anymore? Uh, this is what he said. These are folks who are buying and selling housing in San Francisco as if they're buying and selling stocks on the stock market. They couldn't care less about providing homes for anyone, and we are going to put an end to it. With the empty homes tax, Supervisor Preston said, they own something. It's it's their property, right? This is America. This isn't uh, some type of communist nation. They have the right to do whatever they want to do with their property, okay? But California doesn't feel that way. California isn't like the rest of America. California doesn't believe in freedom. California doesn't believe in private property ownership. California is creating this housing shortage. California, their insane liberal left-wing policies that have gone completely off the rails are why there is a housing shortage out there. 40,000 landlords, 40,000 housing units in San Francisco area, folks. 40,000 of these people have been like, dude, what do you want me to do? You strip me of all my rights when I put a tenant in my property. Screw this. I'm not going to let you steal my property, let someone destroy my property. I'm just going to let the thing sit empty. It's so bad out there that 40,000 in San Francisco have been left empty because of the California government, right? I just did this video like a week or two ago, right? Evictions are now illegal in California. Los Angeles landlords are outraged, right? Check it out if uh, you're interested, right? Episode 54. 2023, folks, that's what we talk about. California, right? L.A. County. If you own a property, 
you are not allowed to evict a tenant till 2023, right? This has been since COVID-19 started till 2023. So for three years, for three years, us as landlords have been unable to evict. People have been legally allowed to steal from us for three years. So 40,000 people got together and said, hey, enough, enough of this. This is America. You can't do this to us. You can't let tenants just steal our properties for three years. So we're just not going to rent them. And now California, they're fucking you in this way. And now they're trying to fuck you in this way. It is out of control what is happening in this state, right? Uh, that dude, the big wang, he estimates the tax could bring in about $38 million a year. He proposes that the money go toward preventing homelessness and affordable housing. $38 million a year. <laughs> How much money does California need to take from you? Dude, it's already the most expensive place in the world, and they just decided they're about to double the taxes. How much money do they need to take and redistribute, right? Shit, if they have a housing crisis, hop in the car, drive down to L.A., have Westbrook build you a house, man. He's laying bricks all the time. This is out of control. The tax rate would be based on the property size and how long it has been vacant. For instance, a unit smaller than 1,000 square feet would be taxed at an additional 2500 for one year, and 10,000 for three years. A home that is 20,000 or more square feet would be taxed 20,000 for its third year of sitting vacant, right? But don't worry, California, don't worry. I know as landlords, right, they get us every way, okay? They vilify us in every way possible. If you're a landlord and you put a tenant in your house and that tenant that tenant destroys your house and starts stealing from you, doesn't pay you rent, and then you evict them. The left vilifies you. Oh, my God! What a slumlord! They just evicted that tenant. We can't let them do this. We can't let them make people homeless. Sure, if you're totally hungry and you go into the grocery store, you can't just steal food. You're gonna get arrested. Stealing is illegal, right? But no, no, they're just stealing from landlords. That's totally fine. We need to stop horrible landlords from not letting people steal from them. So no, no, no. You can't evict people anymore, landlords. This is California. That's now illegal, okay? We can't evict people, right? Even though people steal from us, the left vilifies us, we can't evict people. Okay, fine. Landlords are horrible. We're not allowed to evict people because when we evict people, we're bad. So then you're like, all right, fine. No problem. Problem solved. Oh, wait. Oh, we're not done. Oh, oh, my God. This neighborhood's turning into a rental neighborhood. This neighborhood's horrible. We used to have good people here, but now the greedy, horrible landlords, they're just letting anybody move in, ruining our neighborhood. Landlords are horrible. How could they let these horrible people move into our neighborhood and destroy it? Oh, okay, no problem, crazy left, it's cool. We'll just evict them. No, you can't evict them! Evicting people's wrong. You can't make people homeless. You're a horrible landlord. All right, so we're not allowed to evict them. Got it, makes us horrible. Okay, but if we don't evict them, we're horrible because we move bad people in the neighborhood. I got it. All right, no problem. I'll tell you what, we're just not going to rent to them. We're just going to leave the houses empty, folks. How about that? Problem solved, because if I put them in there and I kick them out, you're mad. If I put them in there and don't kick them out, you're mad. I'm just not going to put them in there anymore. What do you mean you're not going to put people in your housing? You don't care. You don't care about providing housing. We have a homeless problem. No. No, that's illegal. We're going to charge you more money for not putting people in your houses. Okay. Okay. That's how you get 40,000 people in San Francisco to go, screw this, man. That's how you end up with 40,000 people. What do you want them to do? They can't evict tenants. They can't not evict tenants. They can't leave the houses empty. Why don't you just say what you want to do, California? Hey, if you own a property, it is now pri it is no longer private property. It is now property of the state. This is now California's property. Admit it. You want to illegalize private property ownership in the entire state of California, right? That's what you guys want. You want the whole thing to be public housing. But don't worry. 
Don't worry, folks. California's got your back, right? California's not out to screw landlords. No, 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 no. There's exceptions. There's exceptions to this new vacant uh, vacant tax law or vacant house tax, okay? This new punitive tax, all right? Exemptions would include a property being remodeled, right? So if you want to fix up your property, it's allowed to be empty while you're renovating it. Thanks, California. <laughs> Natural disaster. Hey, if your house is empty because a tsunami hit it, we won't charge you for it. It's all right. Tornado hits your house. Hurricane hits your house. It's cool. It's cool. We're not mad. Uh, you know, what's more likely probably like a wildfire, right? Wildfire burns your house down. Don't worry. We're not going to. We're not going to charge you a tax for your house being empty if a wildfire burns it down, okay? And, of course, if the landlord is in long-term care or they died, right? So if you're dead, California, that's the only way you could avoid California hammering you, right? If you're dead. If California, California's taxing you to death. That's the only way to get away from that, right? You can't evict people, okay? You can't evict people. You can't keep people in there, and you can't keep it empty. The only way California ain't going to try to screw you is if they tax you to death and you die. They're going to use and abuse you and your rights as currency to buy votes until you die. As a matter of fact, oh, this is such a horrible joke. I don't even know why. I don't even know. Oh, this is such a horrible joke. This is too soon. <laughs> too soon. Fucking Christ. You guys hear that it just came out? Danny Tanner, right? Danny Tanner. He died. He actually hit his head, okay? Apparently, he fell down, hit his head, got a brain bleed. <laughs> I think it's because he found out that his house is actually worth $6 million now. Fuck it. That was a horrible joke. Why did I do that? Oh, Candace Cameron. Best thing to happen out of Full House, guys. Best thing. Seriously. If you have kids and you're stuck watching Hallmark movies, I highly recommend you make sure that the ones you watch are the Candace Cameron ones. You go, girl. You go, girl. Speaking of old shows from back in the day, right? I grew up on Full House. Who remembers Saved by the Bell? Yeah, yeah, I remember this chick when she ended up doing Showgirls. Woo! That movie got me through puberty as a young boy. Anyway, back to the show. Nothing to do with prepubescent James's habits. The moral of the story is California will tax you till you die, folks. They're getting you every single way. It is out of control. That's why leaving California is a trending thing. The California excess is a trending thing. People are done. People have had enough of it, okay? People are either physically leaving the state of America or landlords, like all the landlords that we're talking about, those 40,000 of you who are being screwed. You might not physically be leaving. Maybe that's California sunshine is enough to keep you there. But I know a lot of you are out there. You're moving your money out of the state. You're sending it to the other 49 states who actually believe in the constitution of this country, who believe in freedom, right? You're sending your money out, right? So California landlords, it ain't all bad, okay? The rest of the country, we are still living under the Constitution. We still have private property ownership rights. And what we do here as Holton Wise is we help rescue Californians like you. So if you are done, if you are tired of being given the shtick in every direction, come and go and left, right, up, down, and you're interested in investing your money in other markets where the prices are cheaper, number one, and number two, you still actually get to own them. Hit us up. Click the, the notes below the video and book a free call with my team. We are here to rescue you, California. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.